Okay, I had to uh, show everybody this because I was watching the video on logos and Catherine, of course, was talking about flat icons. And so I went over to flat icons. I've been here before. I've used these icons before on my uh, Quick Start Blueprint site. And um, I just started playing around with them. And there was something that I found that I just had to show everyone because I don't know if Catherine is aware of this or not even. Let's just go into this one here that's just flat one color and we can come in and we can edit it. And you're going to see here, it's only got one color button, but you can use that color button to change the color of this entire icon. And then you can make it any color you want, and then you can download it or add it to your collection. But what the really cool part is here, where was one of these I was playing with? Okay, let's go to this one right here because you got a bunch of colors. So you click on the three dots, you click on edit, or you can right click and click on edit. And you're going to see there are what seven different colors right here at the top. Each one corresponds to one of the colors on the icon itself. So let's say we got this orangish yellowish color here. We don't like that because our theme is nothing like that, but our theme is more of a blue, let's say. So we got a dark blue. Boom. We just change that color on there to dark blue. And then let's say we don't like this red up here. So we can click on the red or you can click up here at the top. You got to kind of double click on it to get it to activate. And we're going to say uh, what we want there is like a dark green color. So we're going to come in here. We're going to make that like a dark green. And there we go. And then let's see what it looks like. We'll come over here. And now we just changed up the color theme on that icon. Again, you can add it to your collection. You can download it. So let's just download it here. We'll go to PNG. We'll go to 512. It'll drop it down here on the bottom on my Mac. And then here I'm using actually Google Slides, which I found has pretty much all the functionality that Catherine was using on hers when she was in PowerPoint. And so all we got to do is come down here and just grab a hold of this, pull it in and drop it onto our page, onto our slide. And then we can shrink it down, manipulate it, do whatever we want with it, just like I did with this folder. Of course, I changed the color on this folder first. And I even put this little icon in here, which here, this came in as black. And I couldn't change it because I, I guess I could go back into flat icons, find it, change the color, pull it in here. But all I did is I just came in here to adjustments and I just took away the contrast and made it a, a grayish color. It doesn't look great, but I was just playing around with that. But that's what I wanted to show you guys is you can just go into flat icon and save and change the colors of any of these with colors. Wherever there's color on it, you can come in and you can change out any of those colors. So again, here, let's make this blue, boom, and we just change it out by clicking on it like that. That's so simple and so cool. And because it's all right here in hex decimal numbers, you can pull the colors off of your site. You can use a color picker. You can do whatever to find your color, drop it in here and match your icons up perfectly to your site. So I found that to be super cool. So I just wanted to share that with everybody.